Hi, what is up guys? Ivan Smart here back again with another video. Today we are PID tuning the Creality Ender 3 and 3 Pro. So if you are having these error codes on your 3D printer running Marlin software, then you probably guess you need to PID tune your printer. But before doing so, you want to check your wiring, especially between the printer's main board and the thermistors and also the heater elements because if these wires are loose they will disengage and the printer is going to display these same error codes now if the wiring is intact you can go ahead and perform this PID tuning so throughout this video I'm going to show you how to PID tune using a computer and I'll also show you how to do it on this upgraded 7 inch touchscreen from Big 3 Tech this is the TFT 7 and I also paired it with an upgraded SKR Mini E3 V2.0 also from Big 3 Tech. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So you're going to connect your laptop to the printer. Then you're going to go on this website as you can see here. I will have a link in the description. You're going to go to download and then you're going to select latest release and scroll down and download the right version for your computer next step you're gonna open a zip file you don't need to install the program you can just drag and drop it it's a portable program next you're gonna just open it You're going to go to the top left, select your COM port, and then you're going to go ahead and hit connect. And as you can see, printer is now online. So if this doesn't work, you want to make sure you reboot your computer. So go to your terminal, type in M303 space S215 and space C10. So M303 is going to run the auto tune and S215 for the temperature of the nozzle and then C10 for the number of cycles. So if you want to run it five times, you're going to type in C5 and then you're going to go ahead and hit send. And as you can see, PID auto tune start and to the left, you can see that the temperature of the nozzle is increasing. So from here, you're just going to go ahead and wait. It's going to do its thing and display the results. As you can see, we're already having results. And as you can see, it's displaying the KP, KI and KD values. And you're gonna wait until it ends to display the right results the nozzle is gonna go ahead and cool back down and as you can see to the right here you have your values for KP KI and KD highlighted here and you're gonna type these back into your terminal and send it to the printer so for that you're gonna type in M301 space PI followed by the value of your KP which is uh, 4711 then space your I value which is I followed by the value which is 8.52 then space D followed by the D value which is 65.16 So these values are exactly for my printer so your printer will display different values no worries go ahead and enter your values and enter next step you want to go ahead and save all the settings by typing M500 and click send and this is how you PID tune your 3d printer using a computer 
next step I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on your big 3 tech touchscreen upgrade so let's get right into it all right so to do that on your TFT upgraded screen you're gonna go ahead and launch your terminal all right and once launched you want to go ahead and type in M503 this is gonna go ahead and request your printers current settings so go ahead and tap send and as you can see we have three pages and you can cycle through the information as you can see and as you can see here you have PID settings M301 your p-value is 23.39 the I being 2.08 and the D 65.65 go back to your terminal and this time you're gonna run M106 out of space and then S220 that's gonna be the temperature of the nozzle and then I'm gonna send that that's done so we're gonna go back to the terminal and this time we're gonna run the auto tune using this M303 and then we add space and the ID of the nozzle is E0 and space and then we're gonna specify the temperature at which uh, we're gonna run the PID tune that's going to be done by S followed by the temperature let's go with 210 and then we're going to add space we're going to tell it how many times we want to run this which is the number of cycles C5 for 5 cycles and then we're going to go ahead and hit send and as you can see PID auto tune start and we just have to wait until it's done and we are done so from here we're gonna go back to the page and as you can see we have uh, our default KP value being 24.37 2.22 two, 66.92 so these are the values we want to go ahead and uh, enter back into the system alright so now we're gonna go back to the terminal and this time we're gonna type in M301 space the P value which is 24.37 then space the I value I followed by the I value which is gonna be 2.3 Two two space the D value sixty six point nine two. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit send. So this has been inserted into the configuration file. Now we want to save it, so we go back to the terminal and we type in M five hundred this would save the configurations and as you can see settings stored and just like that the printer has been PID tuned ready to go this is how you PID tune your 3D printer using both the TFT upgraded screen and a computer laptop on the stock Creality Ender 3 and 3 Pro so thank you for watching guys if this did help you solve your issues make sure to drop a like subscribe and stay tuned for more
Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.